Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and this is a little update. A lot of you have been asking me for updates from regular updates of what's happening this year with Windows. So we, uh, of course, have confirmation that 21H1 is something that is happening, and that should be the first version of Windows 10 for consumers coming up in a small cumulative update. And actually, I have, as an insider here, installed the first build of 21H1. Now, this is for insiders, and so you have to become an insider to really uh, have this coming to you. Um, and I do not, um, you know, if you want to become an insider, you, cool. Just make sure that you understand that it's test software and that it uh, you need to have certain knowledge of how to reinstall Windows just in case things go bad. But 21H1 is now on its way. It's uh, in the beta channel in insiders, which means that that's coming for us in a couple of months. We don't expect to have really anything new or very little of new things in there. It's a very small cumulative update and we'll probably not have much. It's gonna install very fast. So if you're on version 2004, if you're on the October 2020 update, well, this 21H1, this new version of the first version of the year is going to be something that's gonna install very quickly as a small cumulative update um, once again. So this is the good news. If you're on 1909 and you are pushed here, that will be a bigger upgrade because you have to go through the first major upgrade of the version 2004. But uh, overall, we don't expect to have a lot of new things in here. Uh, of course, Windows 10 X is something that is completed pretty much. That's coming up also in the first half of this year. And uh, well, we'll see what's gonna happen with that. It is expected to land on low-powered devices mostly, uh, two-in-one stuff that are really, really less powerful than standard computers. Uh, they are um, testing it right now, but you know it's like I said, pretty much complete. Um, no testing in the insider rings for Windows 10 X, which I think is a mistake, as they should have used the insider rings to do this. It will be a minimal. Um, version of Windows with you know slim down uh, you know Windows slim down um, OS or operating system core so it's going to be very very small compared to regular Windows 10 uh, update but that's not going to be for most people and people won't have a choice to go to Windows 10 X or Windows 10 it's it's machines some machines will be dedicated for Windows 10 X that's for sure the biggest update is the second half of this year still planned uh, with what is co codenamed Sun Valley. This is a major overall of the interface uh, start menu. Everything is going to go through a major update. So let's hope that there's gonna be more consistency. Let's hope that there's gonna be a lot of really nice changes, rounded edges and windows, some animations when you open close windows um, there's uh, going to be, of course, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, the fonts are going to be rethought and, uh, and um, basically changed everywhere. Hopefully it's for the good uh, because we know that Microsoft is often not very, very uh, fantastic at all of this. But that's going to be something to check out as this is going to be a version of windows um to check out that will be the version of windows this year that really packs a lot of new features so that's what's coming up in windows that's what we're going to of course check out and of course don't forget the transition coming up uh this may where microsoft edge legacy will be removed replaced with microsoft edge uh, chromium which is the latest version the new version of microsoft edge so all of that is coming, and uh, hopefully things are going to go well. And uh, we'll have, as we have more details and more news, we'll of course talk about it even more. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.